hello 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 hi there uh, welcome to another video in this video we are going to uh, working on a redis server right let me show you something here i'm going to try to create a simple chat applications right where we can chat and asynchronously so we need uh, some packages like a uh, web socket channels and ready server right where on the installing process where windows is not officially support for that ready server okay so we need to tweak some settings so let me show you that how can we install our ready server on our windows our channels and channels ready which are not working properly for the first time when you try to install on these packages because it's through some error okay uh, let me first activate the environment this is just a simple chat applications uh, maybe later in future videos i am going to teach you how can we create a, that type of project so uh, first of all we have to activate the environment i create our environment here right mm, yeah, this, uh, it's uh, that you can see here we activate the environment now let's try to install this requirement on that environment so our project our requirement.txt is inside the source project so cd as you see and then let's install it install our requirements.txt you can use this command for installing uh, all packages which are right inside the requirement of txt so it's the intro problem and let's see what will happen i'm going to fast forward this video yeah uh, that is the problem i'm talking about okay it's telling us we need a uh, microsoft visual c plus plus greater than and folding zero or greater than that version right so you don't need to worry about all these things so you have to go to this links so it is trying to open right yeah this links open uh this window right uh, you don't need to worry about uh, copying and pasting simply click the control button click right click your mouse button so it will appear on the And download these build tools okay this is downloaded so simply open this downloaded applications install this yeah we hit the continue button here and it will download a visual studio installer where you can get the all packages of that C++ right all versions yeah guys uh, after the installing we got these types of interface right do you look at here so here we simply click uh, this first option so yeah you can see here it has a lots of options right and then click the install button here okay click install and it will also take some time at least some 10 to 15 minutes uh, so i will meet you through that so okay we installed successfully right you can see here after installing this windows will pop up in your screen you should check uh version should be 14.3 it must be there. Let's activate the environment. Let's move towards the requirements file. Requirement file is inside the source directory. Let's check it out.
yeah that requirement is installed successfully so after that you need uh, another module okay you have to search memory okay uh, this one is also needed for running ready server on windows so click on the first link okay yeah you can see here and then you can download this from here so we are going to download the developer editions it's free the application is downloaded successfully so let me open this applications and run this if you didn't get this so i will provide you a link in the description so you can go through that links click the next i accept the terms and license and next and hit the next button install it's installed successfully if the memory is working or not you simply search the services here and look for the memory right yeah you can see here if it is not running so here you can uh, start stop and restart button if memory is currently not running so now it is currently running it's showing only two options stop and restart if you start from here then you can run the ready software on windows in next video i am going to show you if this is working or not thank you bye bye